Hey Scorpio, welcome back to I Enigma. Scorpio, this is Enigma. We're going to do your current energy reading, what's coming up in the month of March and the whole of 2023. Let's see all the messages for you for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus or Mercury in Scorpio dealing with one. This is going to help you. And do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos on your sign. Do like, share, subscribe and comment in the end of this video. I also do white ray based spells for your higher skirt and we have charged crystals which is curated by me with energies of pure love and healing. And for personal readings and more accuracy, we are here to serve you at reasonable rates through WhatsApp, Instagram and email. You can contact me. I also have my main channel where I do other signs as well um, besides Scorpio. Do check that out and do subscribe to me there as well. All right, let's see the messages for you, Scorpio. What's coming up? What's coming up? Okay. I'm getting this feeling of drum. That means dancing to the tune of your own song. Like you are a siren. You have your own rhythm and you, you dance to the beat of your own rhythm and not what others say and expect of you. That's why your spark is shining brighter than other people there's something about you which shines brighter than others then we have judgment some of you dealing with the libra two of pentacles yes very clearly i feel like there's a decision that you're making right now it's something to do with your career that can make you really famous i feel like there's a major decision that you are thinking about that you want to make that can literally change your whole life okay but i feel like there's something that's stopping you i don't know what that decision is but you guys most of you are hung up between two things and you're trying to make the best decision for yourself however whatever decision you'll be making you'll use your intuition and that's going to bring about major results for you one after the other you're getting uh to the top of the game okay you're stepping the ladder of success you're moving up you're not going down so anyways whatever decision you're taking you might be investing a lot of your time and energy into it in the end of the day you're getting success some of you are attracting a cancer towards you yes see the moon energy sometimes you feel really emotional really sad it's also because your intuition is at peak so you're you're catching vibrations and energy of the people from the past. They're thinking about you. They've been trying to manifest you or their energy is something that you're absorbing naturally. You're having this feeling deep inside of you that someone is thinking about you. And this is giving you some emotional backlash or kind of a drip or a drop. So you feel drained every now and then because... There are people that have been thinking about you a lot and you immediately tend to catch energies because you're not naturally intuitive and you catch energies. You might be empath empathetic, empathic, sorry. So you guys may be empaths. So this is also one of the reasons why. But I feel like because you have a lot on platter, you're getting overwhelmed and that is also making you feel like, oh my gosh, I need a break. I cannot do this anymore. You know, somewhere you're like tired and... Uh, drained but i'm definitely seeing that you're building a solid foundation for yourself some of you are looking for clearing an exam that gives you a government job opportunity or any kind of leadership opportunity you're getting which you're embarking on i feel like whatever you're seeking you will get success in it if you have any sort of doubt or confusion or feeling of not being good enough Throw that feeling or vision out of the window because that is not you, Scorpio. You're full of confidence. You're full of you. And Scorpios are meant to beat others. That They are strong when it comes to challenges, facing challenges. It doesn't may matter your sun in Scorpio or moon in Scorpio. Scorpio or Scorpio. So you are fully in that trait. So what I'm seeing right now is if there is some sort of a confusion, should I go for it? Should I not go for it? Then it's a yes from my side. Okay, but I, as I always say, everybody knows exceptions are always there. So be logical and mindful at the same time. You may face certain challenges because it's not an easy road and you know that you have to do this. You have to invest money or you have to take loan or whatever it is, or you have to take uh, approval of someone in specific or many people around. Whatever it is, I feel you will be able to make it if you keep a positive belief in 
head forward. So whatever you do, I'm definitely seeing you're facing, you know, you're, you're facing the sun, okay? You're not going down, so you're going up. But at the same time, you will be facing a lot of backlash from other people as well. It won't bother you. It won't affect you because you're in this energy. Four of Wands. I don't give an F. I'm the best. That's who you are right now, Scorpio. Okay? So you might be thinking of getting into a partnership. If this person is genuine, if you feel like you want to go for it, it's not bad. It's time for you to party, have fun, celebrate life in general. So some of you may be attending an event, okay, where you might give a seminar or some sort of a presentation or a speech that will literally make people sit down in awe looking at you and getting inspired by you. So you will be doing things that make you happy and you're unbothered about what other people think or feel or tell you. Okay, other people's vision or perception about you is just completely out of the window. You don't care about it anymore. You're using your intuition, following your guidance, inner guidance, and taking a leap of faith towards something unknown. Some of you, there's an Aquarius that's interested. I feel like a lot of confidence inside of you is speaking volumes about you through this spread, Scorpio. So if you've been asking me about, hey, talk to me about career, I'm definitely seeing being financially independent and you're being at a position where you're going to be a lot of a lot of people on your position to get a bigger, bigger position, like a promotion or a hike. You'll be standing out in the crowd wherever you are, whatever you're doing. You're using your intuition. That's the best part. You're going deep within. You're not looking for outer you know, opinion or validation. That's where your secret sauce is. So, page of cups. When you're in this energy of I'm the best, I'm going, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. You're in this energy of achieving big in your life and you don't care and F about anyone. There's someone around you that could be an immature person, like not immature in a sense that this person is someone that could be younger or has a very young, youthful soul, youthful spirit energetic could be a Pisces or someone that is a dreamer and daydreamer dream catcher I feel this person always lives in fantasies and always wants like this and that for themselves they there's someone that always wants best for themselves they do not think about the negatives in their life they always think about positive and they're like a child like innocent child or naive like that for some of you this person hasn't had many strong relationships in the past so it's going to be something fresh for them so it could be younger but i feel like when they see you their heart will skip a beat when they see you because when they see you they'll be like all lovey-dovey about you but you will be all professional with this person you'll talk to them like a logical person you'll talk to them like Let's talk business. That's that's what you will be acting like. Like let's let's get to the business. So that is what your energy is gonna be when you meet this person. You'll keep your heart in control and you'll have your head up in the sky and you may come off as cold, standoffish, and too career oriented. And that, that's how this person will see you, perceive you, but they will also see that you have that a streak of intelligence inside of you, that X factor, that missing that that he or she has never seen in anyone else before. So that is something that's going to make them fall in love with you. I feel like that's the initial stage of attraction. Crush, crushing. If this person is crushing over you, that's what I'm saying. They'll be daydreaming about you, fantasizing about how things will have been when you guys are together and, you know, getting cozier. So you come off as extremely strong and unbeatable. And I'm feeling like it's not going to be easy to convince you. You be that person, Scorpio. If you think that you are easy to convince, change yourself and become this, this woman that you can see, male or female. You shouldn't be easy, but you shouldn't be difficult either. Find a middle ground. So that's who you are actually. So I feel you come off as a strong personality, not easy to tackle and not easy to mess with. And they're studying you. This person is studying you. It's like you're someone that likes to take risk and... When they see you, they feel like, wow, this is going to be a big challenge and this thrills this person. They're getting an adrenaline rush when they think about you. You make this person's heart go zoom. <laughs> like I was saying earlier, I was not able to find that word. 
hard go pitter patter someone suggested me to say that i want something more exciting like the word like coming out of your body you know jumping humping <laughs> stuff like that six of pentacles i'm seeing a proposal coming in but i'm also feeling like a business proposal or a major project that you've been waiting on or unexpected project is going to bring about major money whatever it is i'm seeing a major hike or a promotion or there's some sort of a breakthrough in your career taking place when you least expect it you've been trying and trying and trying you feel like nothing is working out and when you feel like nothing is working out boom this is what's going to happen an unexpected approach where you will be receiving income there's increase because you work for it it's not it's coming no it's not coming easy to you right but i'm also seeing when it comes to a proposal there is a proposal this person will definitely ask you out and tell you that hey you're 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 very grounded they they're going to say something good about you that's going to make you feel like wow am i am i this am i that so they will see you as someone that's keeping their head high but at the same time very grounded that's how you're seen by this person they want to offer you um a date or maybe they're going to convince you with a gift depends how strong this connection has become oh, why are you in this energy scorpio you're still in this energy some of you are still tackling the past and trying to get rid of it asap so you're like leave me alone i'm i'm in my healing period i'm helping myself you know cut off uh, cords with the past you still somewhere feel tied down or you still have a feeling of being closed off you might not take this proposal as genuine and may doubt this because of your past experience it was hard it was hard for you to come out of it and so it will be difficult for you to actually completely trust this person coming towards you so my suggestion for you is to just be the same person you were in the first day but this time be more careful eight of swords you're you're trying to get rid of the past blocking the past person letting go of it you're still having huge anger related to the past person or whatever it is like it's like an inner chaos going on in your in your heart in your mind that still keeps you imbalanced somewhere but nevertheless you're not far away from falling in love or having a completely new beginning with this complete new chapter starting in your life It doesn't matter that someone else coming into your life or not you're definitely started to love yourself and value yourself beyond anything else just like how we are financially independent we should be self love independent we shouldn't depend on someone else for love so that's how you start off so you're meant to love yourself this is your first responsibility and you're doing that and you learned it you practiced it so this was will, will be adding as a bonus to help you uh bring yourself back in action you're going to experience a lot of beautiful uh chapters in your life in the coming future it's like a whole new cycle starting in front of you and you just cannot stop yourself from getting into that and diving deep okay and having fun so that's what you're going to be in so there's new love coming in i feel this person is someone that's going to initially come towards you with a feeling of i have a crush on you and stuff like that but you won't even realize how this person you took this person's heart away you can see from page they became king so with this person's love you will be shifting your whole vibration i am not seeing you being very easy for this person but they'll still keep on trying but they're going to bring that suppressed energy of deep love that you've you know digged inside of you come out and you will vibrate on such a different level that you've never seen yourself so beautiful you are beautiful very beautiful but it's just going to enhance that frequency they'll they'll bring you out of that you know hidden like you're hidden right now you are a treasure that you'll finally gonna bring it out like they will help you polish yourself more so a lot of changes in your life is happening with this person coming into your life Okay. Now I'm going to see who is this person coming for you. I'm definitely seeing that the moment they see you you'll give them a huge rush of adrenaline and their heart is going to like 
pound yes that's the word pounding okay their heart is gonna pound faster so much fast so yeah you'll raise this person's heartbeat guys lovers again there's a who is this coming between you and them there's someone at your workplace i feel that's a mature lady or is someone that is working okay and is maybe they have a single mother that works and take care takes care of the little things in the house even though they're rich but i feel like their mother wants to take responsibility uh, by working a little bit here and there their their mother could be a strong entrepreneur as well i feel she will be the decider whether she wants you or not in their life so yeah maybe you're you're attracting a mama's boy or a mama's girl but he or she is totally loving towards you just the way they love their mom this person is your soulmate and i feel like their mom has a strong role to play between you guys now let's see what else she might love your work that's also what i'm seeing this person is wealthy that is why their mom is careful the mother is really careful that they don't end up uh, dating someone that's greedy and who loves their son or their daughter or their child through emotions so they're looking for an emotional connection for their child for their kid so their kid is someone that's pretty rich and i feel like you're attracting someone like that so they'll keep a close eye between you and them they'll keep a close eye on you yeah you might shift relocate with this person or they're coming from a very different place like maybe you may need to shift buy a new house but i'm seeing this person will bring about a major change in your life okay you may have to adjust with the change your expectations are about to meet the reality you, universe is blessing you with this gift of the kind of a person that you want they're rich they're loving they have a sweet mom but is a little like smart she shrewd and they're going to come towards you with an expensive ring it's something that's beautiful traditional but still modern and yeah it's it's a beautiful love story i can sense that each and every part may or may not resonate but yes most of it will and if you're liking this so far do like this video and comment what part you really really like the most so your expectations are definitely meeting the reality okay this person is fond of music and they love the music that you love you came closer so you have a special place in this person's heart and they'll tell you that that you're special and that you came closer than anyone else in this world has ever done that this this connection is definitely leading towards wedding soon you will see yourself married to this person i had one card fall off heart to heart conversation so i'm definitely seeing that you guys will talk to each other through emotions and not through mind is that like you guys won't even know what you're talking about because it's more about heart than mind they will help you open up actually your heart is still closed off and they'll help you open up because you'll trust this person through heart you will be so comfortable talking about yourself they'll bring that uh, positivity inside of you and i feel you'll help them the same way but this is true love this is definitely not a joke not a joke so let me tell you that who is this person what they might be doing some of you are spiritual teachers or this person is spiritual teacher or they know a lot about spirituality like that might be a side uh hustle or they like to go and get healing sessions when they when they're free so this person's mom maybe they learned it from their mother animal guardian this person is fond of animals they have a lot of animals or they're fond of it one of you or both of you but i'm definitely seeing they have an instinct where they have a lot of animal spirit guides around them so they love to be in nature but this person is a stag spirit as well which means that they like to thrive they like to you know they are passionate they want to grow 
So this person is fully trustworthy. We have trust twice and this is someone that will give you an instinctive feeling that you they can be trusted. They are reliable, totally reliable. Okay. They'll try for you. They won't leave you in, in the middle of nowhere. They'll try for you. They'll fight for you. That's what I'm feeling. Even if it has to convince their mom, they will. You both have innate love for nature and animals. They speak to animals. They might not even realize it, but they have that instinct inside, inside of them. Karma is in your side, on your side. So definitely I'm seeing whatever good deeds you've done so far. It's time you'll reap the rich results of the karma you've sown. Okay? All the best. It is not as if you need anyone. You guys, this person is coming freehand. You're not going to be all jumpy, all lovey-dovey, all desperate for this person. You will show this person that you're, you want them, but you don't need them. It's not like become a need for you. You are your own need and you don't really rely on anyone else to become your need. Even though you love this person, you're still keeping a good boundary, a good distance, which they really respect. What else do I pick now? Scorpio. Do like, share, subscribe and comment in the end. I want you to raise the vibration of the street and help more and more people. Come in, get in, get more love, get more attention and claim it. Ten times. Storm warning. There's an end because we had a tower moment. There's something that you'll have a major breakthrough as in the form of a quarrel or a conflict or a chaos. That is important because once that is gone, that storm is gone, your whole life is changing. I feel like you're going to make this past person learn a lesson because they will reach out to you and you will shout at this person. And that's when you'll be done with them completely for some of you, for some of you guys. You've been thinking about something too much. Maybe it's about your money. When you stop thinking uh, worries, about, when you stop worrying about a certain aspect, that, that thing gets better in your life. So if you're feeling like there are financial problems right now, you may need to strategize or properly plan. But don't revolve uh, money around your energies of negativity or worry. Have belief and positivity because that's how you'll come out of this stress, stressful situation that you might be in right now. Okay? So, yes, yeah, so I'm telling you that you may need to be careful about your money. There's something that I'm saying here. If you believe. So, everything is going to happen for you only based on your belief. There's nothing in the world that can... So, I hope um, most of my messages have gone by because... The reading suddenly stopped. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to pull one last message for you. This is it. Transformation. So that's the main thing. Your, your relationship is on a transformative level. Everything around you in your love life is going to change. And it's so deep. It's so deep that it's going to heal you on a deeper level. So that's about it, Scorpio. I hope you've enjoyed the read. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share this video. And help it raise the vibration and help more more people. And it will all come to you in a good way. I'll see you again with more stuff. Bye.